Dot, you know the DOG never lost me out of you. But right now, it seems like you posted up without a clue. It's a future in Metro booming. They dropped them projects. That Drake know we don't trust you, Joker. We don't trust you, Slim. <laughs> What's going on? What did Drake do? Drake? Rick Ross and Future? These are some of his biggest songs he got with these jokers. Man, y'all need to pray for Drake and tell him, park that old ass plane. It's a 1978. The Weeknd? Loving the crew? Ain't no more crew love Drake. Nigga, your nose fake, your stomach fake. You don't write raps. Rick Ross said Drake got his nose done, y'all. I know if it's true or not, it's still funny that he said it. Cause he wanna be Michael Jackson, right? BBL Drizzy with the fake abs. BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you post that you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went in a foreclosure five years ago. And then we discover... You only get your flowers when I put them on your grave. You didn't stay steaming, but they ain't ready to pop that. French Montana Splash Brothers track. French sending shots at Drake. You been a doja, word a doja cat. Call your soldier slim, cause we don't know your clap. Ross sending shots at Drake. Don't say my name, look, he's looking for you with treasure maps. Can't pedal back and I'm surprised your label ain't collapsed. And Wayne on the track with him. Got old money, I got hundreds of your age got OGs listening to me like the OJs. Okay, that's crazy. You know, future and Metro Boomers, we still don't trust you, Joan. Metro, shut your voice up and make some drugs together. Rocky come on there said I should've been on the first one. Singing in a feelings over women, which you heard a son. I smashed before you birth son. <laughs> <laughs> it's like god damn Rocky got he you already got his, his 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 girl that he wants we all know drake has been in love with rihanna for whole, his whole life why people got beef with drake what drake do to anybody i don't know <laughs> drake and kendrick lamar was not always on bad terms but right now they at odds they going to each other net and we about to break that down and get into all the details but before we do that hit this like button and support this video just recently kendrick lamar came through the surprise drive by verse on future and metros we don't trust you on this hit smash song like that. Hook sneak this in first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This Melly Mel if I had to. Just be direct. Just yeah. say them names, man. Cause you got I was mad at Kendrick because he was very direct, but he just didn't say the names. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. Coming at J. Cole and Drake. In response to first person shooter. Your first shit was classic, your latter shit was tragic. Your second this shit put us in sleep, but they gassed it. The first response to like that was actually from J. Cole on Seven Minute Drill. Seven Minute Drill was released on his surprise EP, Might Delete Later. Well n what line, because he deleted that shit ASAP. You know at Dreamville Fest. I pray that y'all are like forgive it for like the misstep and then and then I can get back to my true path. Boom! Man. No! Yeah, that's what J. Cole decided to apologize at. It's definitely a lot of people in the hip hop community a little disappointed. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give him 50. Man, Drake telling K Dot to drop and give him 50. Exposing the room that Kendrick Lamar gotta give up 50% of his profits to TDE. None of you niggas is beating Kendrick being friendly. I never understood someone being so affected by something. That, that genuinely ain't got nothing to do with them. The, the hate and the criticism, it can't drown out the applause and the adulation. Right. What adulation mean? Since like that, your tone changed a little. You not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. We definitely should not expect Drake to do the same. I know he backed out of that push of T beef, but the backlash he got from that, we can expect Drake to be 10 toes down going at everybody right now. Drake already said he Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. right? Oh. So a prince is is a son to a king. That's and also a Taylor Tiger. Michael Jackson's son, son name is Prince. prince. Like my daughter will like Kendrick, but my son will like Drake. Let's go ahead and break down some of these bars. The song, Like That, going crazy on the charts right now. Future, Metro Boomer, Kendrick Lamar. This opening line, Addresses Drake and J. Cole's first person shooter. Kendrick warns Drake and J. Cole to watch their mouths, responding to J. Cole's opening lines when he says, returning your song to a funeral. First person shooter mode, returning your song to a funeral. When he said coffin, it's actually a homophone, which y'all might think is a double entendre. But when he said coffin, not referring to just a coffin like in a funeral, but also it could be related to talking on the side of your neck. In his Pet Cemetery scheme, he's referencing Drake's latest album for all the dogs. For all your dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna see Pet Cemetery. 
Kendrick threatens to bury all the dolls, which is a Stephen King's Pet Cemetery movie reference. Like we say K with all these nines, K is for Kendrick, nine is for his competition, meaning he's a 10 in their nines, and for nine millimeter. And if you think about it, a K9 is a reference to a what? A dog. And then Drake will fire right back with his very own diss track with push ups. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man's on? Drake makes a punchline out of Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morale and Big Steppers album. Kendrick only like 5'5. Five five, so Drake challenges how much of a big stepper can he really be? That's small feats! You can't step big with a size seven! Drake makes a double entendre referencing a gun scope and Kendrick label in a scope. Like the label boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. Back in 2011, Drake had already been blown up with songs like Best I've ever had. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that y'all don't take it wrong. Up all night. I'm about and Kendrick has yet to release a major album. Around this time, Kendrick had buzz with like six projects. With those projects being overly dedicated. Just a conversation where they're doing you a favor. All right. Look at the hips. Okay. I want to be a pager. And Kendrick with my EP. However, summer 2011, Kendrick would perform in Toronto for the first time, and Drake was like, he gotta hit K-Dot up. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. After hanging with Drake in Toronto, Kendrick would then tell Double XL Magazine that Drake was a cool dude. Drake would then listen to Kendrick's first album, Section 80. Eight doobies to the face, oh my God. Twelve bottles in the case, oh fucking die. Drake would then go on to invite Kendrick Lamar to be on his second album, Take Care. Track seven, Buried Alive, the interlude. We talk casually about the industry and have the women be the tastemakers for the shit we making. Drake will also take Kendrick Lamar with him on the Club Paradise tour. This is my brother ASAP Rocky. This is my brother Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick would then show love right back to Drake by featuring him on his first major debut album, Good Kid, Mad City, on the track, Poetic Justice. I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience. But also in 2012, Kendrick Lamar was asked how did he feel about DMX wanting to beat up Drake. I don't like anything about Drake. Mm -hmm. Mom, I, I don't like his voice. I don't, I don't like, I don't like what he talks about. I don't, I don't talk. I be trying to I don't tell like face. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the way he walks, like nothing. I don't like his haircut. <laughs> I might just, let me shut up. Kendrick is found on the radio saying the entire tour bus is cracking up. That ain't really starting no issues. Drake ain't really better eyelash or, or lift a painted fingernail to that. What's on your nail? Hmm? What's on your nail? The Italian flag. Why? The beef ain't really started there because they worked again on ASAP Rocky's, you know, effing problems. She eyeing me like a that don't exist. Girl, I know you won't did. But after that, man, it was all shade. In 2013, Kendrick Lamar was becoming a household name, a top dog, if you will, when the MCV's hottest rapper of the year and BET's best male hip hop artist of the year. Although Drake would give Kendrick credit for winning his award, Kendrick would start feeling himself, and here comes control. I heard the barber shots being great debates all the time about who's the best MC, Kendrick Jigger and Nas. Kendrick would be featured on Big Sean's Control, and it would change the trajectory of hip hop. And that goes for Jermaine Cole, Big Crit Wale. Pusha T, Meek Mills, ASAP Rocky, Drake. And then he says, the rest of y'all, y'all are just new dudes. Just don't even get involved in this. And it, like, <laughs> he, he never really respected his peers. And I think always, you know, I'm gonna blame this whole thing on, on J. Cole. Kendrick let it be known, he ain't got no friends in this game, and he's the king. I got love for you all, but I'm trying to murder you. And just trying to make sure your core fans never heard of you. And just... The rappers he called out seem to be a little okay with it. But we all know Drake is sensitive and it rubbed in the wrong way. J. Cole's of the world or, or yeah. Drake's of the world. Where are you guys at same now? Same place, same place. Mm -hmm. This is all love. And it rubbed Diddy wrong too. Don't want to rub that nigga wrong. <laughs> I'm like a soft spring. I'm the king of New York, king of the coast. One hand, I juggle them both. Kendrick's friend at the time, J. Cole, would later admit on his song, Let Go My Hand, that he had to fight Diddy. My last scrap was with Puff Daddy. Who would have thought it? Diddy did not like the fact that Kendrick, man from LA, was trying to claim being the king of New York. So then, then he tried to pour a drink on his head. And that's when J. Cole would intervene and they get into a scuffle. <laughs> this is a repeat, y'all see it. It's happening. I guess you can say when Kendrick dropped his control verse, you can use that as like a bookmark for when Drake started sending shots at Kendrick. If you listen to Drake's song language, he's sending shots at Kendrick. 
I don't know why they've been lying, but your shit not that inspiring. Drake felt like Kendrick was only a shockwave for the time, and he did not have a true body of work. Talking that shit with your back to me, just know it always get back to me. Based on that song, it seems as though Drake feels like Kendrick was talking behind his back for a while, and then Drake caught on. In the BET Cypher in 2013, Kendrick will reference Drake's Nothing Was The Same album, where Drake was taking shots at Kendrick. And nothing been the same since they dropped control and tucked the sense of the rapper back in his pajama clothes. Kendrick would later say on Sway that he was just having some fun, but Drake wasn't having it. He would then leak up with Future or shit and then throw some shots at Kendrick. I hear you talk about your city like you're running there, then I brought my tour to your city, you my son there. Kendrick went on the radio and claimed he was not interested in going back and forth. So a million names, we just want you to get a meal. And to get him saying it's all good and say you better feel. And at this time, Kendrick is looked at as a hip hop savior, and Drake just looked at as like a pop icon. The next in 2015, Drake drops a surprise project. If you're reading this, it's too late. We're taking more shots at Kendrick. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. Drake would also reveal that he's seen Kendrick five days after the Control verse release. He said it was all love. I don't know if I necessarily respect it. You know, we all make decisions. I'm sure he'll be good. He's talented as f you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have another album and another opportunity to take the world by storm, so he'll be all right. Kendrick would then drop what many people believe to be one of the best albums of all time, to Pimp a Butterfly. We go be all right, all right, nigga, we gon' be all right. And that would further show how much different they were as artists. In 2016, Drake would feature on Games 100 when he took more shots at Kendrick, and he would claim to take all Kendrick's fans if he didn't go pop. I would have all of your fans if I didn't go pop and I stayed on some conscious shit. To make matters worse, he did it in Compton with Kendrick's from. 10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands, oh, man. man. Trying to run through the budget, man. And OMG. Now y'all remember when Meek Mill and Quentin Miller exposed Drake for having ghostwriters? That was a real big blow. But if you go back and listen to King Kunta, Kendrick actually was the first one to expose that. We just ain't know who the hell he was talking about. But a rapper with a ghostwriter, what the flow's capping? Kendrick exposed this months before the Drake and Meek Mill beef. This is where you really start to see a change in Drake. He's now showing that he can step aside from that pop image a little bit and jump out there and give you some bars. Drake would then have the most strategic diss rollout of all time with Charged Up. I see you again having trouble going gold. Turning into some so and so's that no one knows. And back to back. You love it and you gotta get a world tour. Is that a world tour or your girl's tour? Before Meek could even respond to Charged Up. Nah. I'm charged up. Around this time, he also partnered with Future on a joint project. What a time to be alive. Jump in, jump in, jump in, them boys up to something. Uh uh uh, I think I need some robot In 2016, Drake would step back into his typical Drake bag and land big project views with songs like Hotline Bling. Ever since I left the city, you. And One Dance. Grips on your ways, front way, back way. You know that I don't play. Drake owned 2016. One Dance was the most streamed song of all time, and Drake was the most streamed artist of 2016. Genius. Genius. Between views and more life, Drake ain't really take too many direct shots at Kendrick or go too hard at him for real. But knowing Kendrick, it don't really take too much. Kendrick dropped a surprise track with the hot part four. My fans can't wait for me to sun your face and crush your whole little ish. How big pun your day, don't you a scared little Coming with a flurry of insults at Drake. Tiptoeing around my name, you can get lame. And when I get at you, homie, don't you tell me you was just playing. And then again on Kendrick's Dam on tracks like Element. Last OP, I tried to lift the black goddess, but it's the difference between black goddess and whack goddess. And God. So who you talking to? Hey, do you know who you talking to? Slide on you like falling drapes. God touch full of carnivals. And then Kendrick will keep it up on Future's Mask Off. Come for Kenny with the Midas touch. Ain't no penny that I don't touch. Y'all my enemy, but I don't touch. Ain't no talking when it's fatal. Drake was actually trying to keep it a little friendly once he seen that damn outsold more life. And he even commented saying it was good to see the music move. And I just want to address that. You know, it hurts. Uh, I've said it time and time again. Drake would then even like a comment saying that Cole, Drake, and Kendrick should all get on the track together. But Kendrick ain't kid. Cause but then on all the stars with Scissor, he said, You and all your expectations. I don't even want your congratulations. This would cause Drake to come at Kendrick's neck on diplomatic immunity in 2018 saying he taught Kendrick everything. Like a job straight out of high school, there's no you and I. I taught you everything you know, now you got student pride. After Drake closed out another historic year in 2018, he would go on Rap Radar, where he say, like I have a lot of respect for, you know, the other two guys that I'm constantly, you know, up against, which is like Cole and Kendrick. Things would go quiet for a while, because Kendrick stopped dropping music, 
Many would say to focus on his relationship, his friendships, and his mental health. None of that matters when it comes to that pin and there's beef. They handle it where it matters most for us as fans mm -hmm. of hip hop in the booth. Kendrick would then come back in 2021, featured on his little cousin, Baby King, Family Ties track, dissing Drake again. Smoking on top fives. That album, that single, burn that hard drive. While Kendrick was dissing Drake and not releasing albums, Drake was crushing the charts with Certified Lover Boy with songs like Way Too Sexy. I'm too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game. Girls on girls. Girls want girls where I'm from, right? Hey, yeah, girls want girls. Well. And Knife Talk. Keep blickies, and you know the weed sticky. My finger itchy, the glock like the leaf hickey. And in 2022, Drake will hop on a track with Lil Uzi, taking shots at Kendrick. And that leads us to where we are today. Drake versus Kendrick, one of the biggest rap wars in rap history. What did Drake do? Slack time. Y'all know what time it is, my Uptown Allies. Slack time. Subscribe, like, and comment. Hit that notification bell. Hashtag UPTAF, let's get it.